Many successful people belong to the so-called 5 a.m. club. Richard Branson, Bill Gates, Tim Cook, Elon Musk, Mark Wahlberg, The Rock, Oprah Winfrey, Albert Einstein, Mozart claim or have claimed that the main reason for the success is the habit of waking up really early. I wanted to give it a try because I wanted to achieve success and I wanted to join the club and already in the first weeks I could see that this habit is a life changer and I have been doing it for the last two years and during this time I got promoted at work. I work in Avatar The Way of Water as a fact supervisor. I received two awards for it. I reached my optimal weight. I became more fit. I replaced my eating habits by healthy ones. I started this YouTube channel. What are the best things I ever done without waking up early. I couldn't have achieved any of this and actually it has probably saved my life. You might be finding yourself in this situation I was two years ago. I was that guy that goes to work and work for many hours. I was sitting most of the day at work. My job is with the movie industry and visual effects and it can get very busy close to deadline. And then I was coming back home really tired and I spent the rest of the evening on the sofa watching TV, going to sleep very late and then waking up late the next day again tired and repeat and repeat. This cycle was a very destructive one and I was stuck in my career with a feeling of a repetitive and routinary life with no personal progress. On top of that I was gaining weight because I was sitting for many hours, I was snacking often and I was doing zero exercise. So I started to feel chronically tired and I had the feeling if I didn't change something now at my 40s, I would severely damage my mental and physical health in the future years. So I replaced my entertainment time with education time watching self-development videos and reading self-help books. And I came across especially two books that were very impactful for me. The Miracle Morning by Hal Erold and The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. Both books recognize the importance of waking up early and how it can really influence your day and as a consequence, change your life. I strongly recommend you reading these books if you haven't done already. And I have put links in the description below to get them if you want. But look, it's good to read. It's Get self-help ideas because it can open up your mind, but you need to put the principles in practice because it's the only way to progress. Anyway, waking up early when you are not used to it, it's really hard. I did it gradually. I was going to bed a bit early and wake up a bit early every day until I reached the 5, 5.30 time and it became my new natural waking up habit. The day has 24 hours and if you have a busy job like I do, you might only have two hours of free time a day with luck. Two hours I was just using to watch TV at night. There is a huge difference though. Not only how you use those two hours, but when you use them. And there is something in the morning, in opposition to the evening, that make those two hours have a very, very different quality. First of all, there are less distractions, less noises around you. Everything is quiet in the early morning, but also you feel more fresh after a coffee more alert, creative, focused. You have a clearer mind. And because of this, it's easier to get into a flow state where you are fully immersed in your work and able to accomplish more in less time. Completely the opposite as in the evening when you feel tired and your productivity just drops. This is what is described in the 5 a.m. club book as transient hypofrontality which means that around 5 a.m., the brain's prefrontal cortex, which handles rational thinking and tends to overanalyze stress and worry, temporarily slows down. And the peace in the morning stimulates the production of neurotransmitter dopamine and serotonin, which can help with focus and enter in the state of flow, in the zone. Flow is the state of all top performance, from athletes to artists to scientists when they achieve their finest moments. It's the moment when time warps and you are so focused that you literally become your task. It's up to you what you decide to do with those two hours. For example, in the Miracle Morning, it's suggested that you can dedicate each hour to rotate five minutes between silence, affirmations, visualizations, writing, reading and exercise. In the 5 a.m. club, for example, they speak about the 20-20-20 formula, which is covering similar activities, swapping between moving, exercise, reflecting, that means meditating, visualizing and journaling, and growing, which means learning and reading. I started doing first what the book said, but gradually I was changing it for the things that work for me. I decided to have a more dedicated time for one thing a day. For example, three days a week, I would go to the team early. And the other four, I was dedicating to have nice walks at dawn, meditating and letting my negative thoughts go, 
reading, writing, drawing, developing video artworks, or thinking about projects that excite me. And then I started this YouTube channel and my mornings have become the most important time to write my scripts, to edit, to think about ideas, to research and read. I couldn't imagine two years ago I would even have the time or the energy, not to mention the confidence in myself, to even think of having a YouTube channel. But here I am and very happy doing it. I can't describe enough the feeling that I was getting from those two hours in the morning, even from the very first days I started with this. I felt I had done something for myself that day. I had the feeling of progress. As small as the step was, I didn't feel stuck. I felt every day a bit more fit, a bit wiser, a bit more creative, and I felt closer to my goals and to myself. It's a small step every day, but over a year it amounts to a 365% improvement. It's better to do a bit every day than a lot occasionally. So my attitude changed. I could now dedicate my full attention to my job since I felt that I had already dedicated the best time of the day to myself and my personal progress so I didn't feel frustrated. And because I was dedicating time to my body and my mind, I felt I was literally transforming, sculpting my body, regulating my metabolism, rewiring my neurons. It's hard to explain, but I felt I was in an ascending cycle of overcoming and a different attitude towards life, expansive, positive, which was impacting everything around me. I felt more productive at work and because of this new vibe I was projecting to the world, I got promoted. And someone in my department could sense this wavelength I was emitting and felt that I was the right person for the job, so I became effects supervisor in Avatar The Way of Water, a role that requires a lot of stress handling, good and positive communication, confidence, energy, resilience and endurance, but I felt I was up to the task. So already in six months waking up early, I lost 15 kilos, 33 pounds, and I got promoted at work. And since then, I helped supervising a very talented team of artists to finish Avatar The Way of Water, and that was awarded. I kept my healthy habits and I got the confidence to start a YouTube channel to be able to tell my story and hopefully help you to create a positive impact in your life. I'm happy with the feeling I'm progressing every day and that I am in an ascending track. When you wake up early, you have the opportunity to witness and be participant of the nature waking up. You feel you are in sync with the world around you. You wake up with the first rays of daylight. And this has a lot to do with circadian rhythms, which are controlled by the daylight. The circadian rhythms, they are like our biological clock that determines the activation of many important processes in our body. And if you are consistent with your waking up schedule, your circadian rhythms will regulate and will be in sync with the sun, causing you to feel more energetic and less fatigued as opposed to people that stay late. And waking up earlier will help you to go to bed earlier and you will have a deeper sleep at night as well. This will help your immune system, basic brain functions, mood and gives the body and brain time to repair itself. It's important to have a nice walk in the morning to make sure you receive this daylight with your own eyes to reset the circadian clock. In the early morning the world is quiet and peaceful and because of this quietness you can take the time to appreciate the beauty around you and it's the perfect time for meditation and observe your thoughts and just let go of the negative ones. It's the time to get ideas, to get enthusiasm about new projects, to think big. You can watch the sunrise, listen to the birds chirping or simply enjoy a cup of coffee in silence. This can be a powerful a spiritual experience and can help you feel more connected to the world around you. There are multiple studies backing up the idea that waking up early transforms. A University of Toronto study found that those who wake up earlier report greater levels of happiness than their peers. And another study from biologist Christopher Randler surveyed 367 university students and a higher percentage of morning people agreed with statements that indicate proactivity, such as, I feel in charge of making things happen. So morning people anticipate problems and try to minimize them and they are more proactive. This links to better job performance, greater career success and higher wages. But another study found that people that go to bed later eat in average 248 calories more a day which can transform into 2 kilos more gain per year. 
So imagine that over time, the first hour of the day, our heroes are made and legends are forged. Waking up early at 5 a.m. can have numerous benefits to your life, including more time for personal growth, increased productivity, spiritual experience, and a sense of purpose and fulfillment for the whole day. Give it a try. Start by going a bit earlier to bed every day and waking up a bit earlier every day. Reduce the entertainment watching time and replace it with education and self-development that can help you to understand concepts you can put in practice. I promise you, with time, it will become your second nature, a habit that will transform you and your life around you as a result. Here you can see more videos that might be interesting to you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon.